I got this one and I, need, and I needed to take part of the off, so I just had it open. So, what I've been doing, just for a bit of fun, is... Well, you get the point. It kind of runs, but yeah. Uh, you can also do it with petrol, but it just takes a bit longer. You just squirt a bit of fuel in there, and it just sort of takes it off, pulls, and then it fires once or twice, and then doesn't go anymore. I had this edger going, but for some reason it just stopped. Didn't go. Um, still had a spark. I pulled the spark plug out and pulled it. I noticed a lot of fuel was coming out, like way too much. Like a huge mist was just coming out. So I take the carby off. Before I just do the regular carb clean up. This little gasket diaphragm was a bit broken. Just trying to flatten it out a bit. It's still a bit wavy, so I just put that down. Put that on it and leave it that for like an hour and it's flattened it out a bit. So hopefully this can fix it, because that's, that's a really good looking edger. Um, we would have sold it at the garage sale and made, I would have made 25 bucks off it, because we were going selling it for 50. But yeah, I didn't get to sell it because it didn't go. But that's the luck of the game. Okay, I just put the um, carburetor back on. Oh, I forgot to attach the fuel line, but that's alright. Uh, I might need to get in a bit more fuel line, that stuff's a bit bad. Anyway, hoping this will go, because that carburetor was so hard to get on. For some reason it was just really extra tight for some reason, I don't know. Let's do this with this clear fuel line because I can actually see the fuel going in. Oh, oh, it's got a leak at the bottom of the car. Shit. Oh, well, it's inside. Nah. No, it should have gone by then. I might have to get a new one of these pieces because it's leaking quite badly around there. Alright, this just pisses me off. This is why I think it wasn't working. See these old little things here? It's got a crack right there. I'd put it on like that. Or, no, I'd put it on like... How did I have it? I had it some way, and I'm pretty sure that it was just arcing past the spark plug. See, that's not going to arc to anything. But if it's like up here... No, this thing here... I don't know how it was, but I'm pretty sure that's the problem, because it just started right then. Smoky bugger, but whatever. Okay, I worked out the problem. Um, the needle in this, the head, like the top of the point, should be like a like a sharp point, like quite sharp, and on it it's sort of blunt. So that's just letting fuel in, flooding it, and not going to make it work. I don't know why it started earlier. Maybe I was on a downhill or sloping it just enough to let it run, but it should run now because you can see here. I haven't primed it or anything, and there's fuel under under this sort of gasket, so I'll probably just buy another one. Yeah, that's a bugger. But anyway, I'm learning. I'm still learning, and I've been doing it for four years, eh? I just took the primer bulb thing off there, and luckily I picked up all these Ryobis, because I took the primer bulb off the Ryobi, and it fits in here perfectly. I think what I might have to do is actually just put a bit of like some super glue around there. Hopefully that won't melt it because it doesn't really see it can just sort of fall out. But maybe when I tighten it down it'll hold it in so we'll just wait and see. But yeah I mean so I love having all this free all these spares. It's like if I was gonna charge someone I'd charge them for the new thing and I've just got spare. I know it's a bit a bit dodgy but I mean 
it is it is new this isn't it's not like I'm using something that's that's sort of half working I mean, that's brand new that's what you buy from the shop except I got it for free